there's a hundred yard dash. It's the same hundred yard dash anywhere that you go. The progression is someone running it faster. I guess in snowboarding, the term progression has a lot of different meanings because for some people, progression is the next trick. Who's gonna add another cork or like another spin or whatever. For a whole other like group of snowboarders, progression is just finding what makes you happy. Like what's the next thing that makes you happy? It's more of like an adventure type of spirit than a competitive spirit. Gooch is like the, he's like the preacher. People always talk about Craig Kelly and like his transformation from like pipe rider into backcountry icon. And I think it's the same with Gooch. Like he went from this guy who like was in all the mags and doing all this contest and kind of limelight stuff into like disappearing. He went to Jackson Hole and kind of walked away from it. You know, I kind of let it go in a sense, you know. I probably could have kept, you know, riding park and doing what I was doing, but I was really just inspired to, to, to grow as a rider. I saw a path, and Craig was really a huge inspiration. So um, I just started exploring and learning, and, you know, after a few years of that, my career kind of started bottoming out, and I didn't really get support from the brands like I did at, at the time when I was a competitor, but I got to ride a ton, and I just loved it. I'm just gonna drop in here and hit this little window button. Alright. Alright, you guys, see you down there. He's the sickest dude because all he wanted to do was just go ride his snowboard. I never wanted to be the best or I never wanted to be a world champion. I really just wanted to be out doing it. Just be good at just good at riding in a in a kind of a broader sense, you know, being able to find the good snow was kind of the first pursuit. Like I wanted to be figure out where the good snow was and then uh, you know, I realized even more than that is finding out where the good snow is that's safe. Being a, a good backcountry partner is like the, the most important thing. I think for, for riders that want to ride backcountry, it's like nothing you do, none of this training will help you. It only helps the people that you're with, you know, like rescue training and doing this kind of stuff. It's like, you know, doing, digging pits and like that, you can forecast maybe, you know, you'll you know, avoid getting at avalanches. But if you actually get avalanched, you know, all the training you do is, you know, you'll be able to respond and help, you know, rescue somebody, but you know, your training's not gonna help you when you're buried. It's a training that your friends have that's gonna help you when you're buried. Oh, so thankful for the opportunity. Like, every day I get to go out with Gooch in the backcountry. Just try to sponge. Just knowing the snow layers and the snowpack, the weather conditions and... Uh, how things are changing and how things are moving. He's kind of become like just a master of snow and snowboarding in general. I honestly just love riding and I love um, the freedom that the mountains give you, you know? And knowledge is freedom in the mountains. The more you learn, the more access is open to you. The more opportunities exist out there. You do so many test results and you start getting a feeling of what that means in a bigger picture, you know, if the slope is going to be safe to ride or if it's not, you know, it's, it's that repetition and, and, and practice. For me, it's no different than when I was learning, you know, the tricks, I make mistakes. You learn from those mistakes, but then you just grow and progress and, you know, try to achieve the end goal, which yeah, I don't know if there is one with this, you know, it's just the pursuit, it's just doing it, that's, that's, the, that's what it's all about. Things look good, light's amazing, and um, I don't know. Bad boy airtime, I think. I don't know if I've ever hit a jump this big. <laughs> All right, well, let's give her the old college try here. <laughs> let's see what happens. I mean, anything can happen. Being older, I pick my battles wisely. So, <laughs> we'll see how this goes today. I'm not sure if I'm going to hit this. <laughs> You know, before those kind of sessions where you build a big jump, you're gonna ride a gnarly line, it's like, you kind of lay in bed the night before and it's heavy, you have to like think about it, you know, maybe it'll keep you up at night or, you know, maybe haunt you a little bit. Curtis opened up the jump and it was kind of, it was pretty heavy, you know, like that first couple, couple tries that he did, but he was killing it, so 
definitely got me stoked. You got that good. And you know, when things are right, you know, I've been riding a lot, you know, spending a lot of time on my snowboard. And, you know, I just feel confident in my riding and where I'm at, where I'm at in my head and my body. So I felt like it was, it was good to go. Yeah, that's the biggest method of my life. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I just didn't, I just didn't know if I had like the balls to do it. It's 10 years ago, I actually backed down from this very jump. I kind of thought that was the end of my big jump kind of experience. I, I honestly enjoy it more than, the, than I ever have, you know, riding in general. I think it's just, you know, every time I can go out and enjoy a day in the mountains is a great day. He's still the first one up every morning, and he's the most amped person at every moment. Like, he just loves it. He's addicted to it. He just loves snowboarding. I mean, like, through and through. He's just on his board every day of the winter for fun or for work. Oh, it's all about being in the mountains. You know, it's all about connecting with the mountains and, you know, just being, kind of slowing things down in a sense. It's, I, I really enjoy it. Master Gooch, you know. What a solid role model and what a great guy to have the opportunity to hang out with and to film. I mean, we're shredding with Gooch every day. It doesn't get any better than that. Any opportunity to ride with Gooch is, is insane. <laughs> well, I feel the same, man. Like, to be able to ride with Pat and like just having the opportunity to still be a part of uh, you know these sessions. I guess different experiences, you know, make me just appreciate the fact that I could be out there doing it and I still feel physically able to, you know, and uh, you know, when people are having fun and laughing and just having a blast, I mean I, I I live for that, you know, those sessions. It's like ever since I was a kid, like skateboarding, it was like someone landed a trick. You just get, you know, excited and like or you know, like now it's like someone rides a line or you know, still lands a trick, you know, it's it's awesome. <laughs> and that really hasn't changed in my perspective, I guess. He's just got passion. He's just Gooch has so much passion. This is like my favorite backyard jump. I've been hitting this jump for gosh, you know, like probably 15 years at least. And it's just, you know, I'll never forget like rolling into this valley and just seeing like these jump all the jump potential here. And uh, you know, I would have never guessed, you know, like when I hit 40, I'd still be doing cab nines on that thing. Usually we're on such like a, like a detailed schedule. Of, we're gonna hit this, we're gonna build this, we're waiting for the sunny day, here's the routine kind of thing. And this trip is just like all out, super good homie, powder free for all. <laughs>